I'm still shaking. I just couldn't believe the last thing I heard. I'm right here. I'm right here. That's all I kept hearing. It was sad. Neighbors here on Claiborne Street on Detroit's west side say they tried their best. We always try to save her. And... <sighs> After they say a fire raged out of control, neighbors now hearing the 36-year-old woman living there has died, and her little boy, only four or five years old, is critically injured. Detroit police now investigating her death as a homicide. That's messed up. This is messed up. Police say just after noon Tuesday, a neighborhood police officer, Morgan Pistolsi, had been driving on the Southfield Freeway and saw smoke billowing from a neighborhood. She called it out, told the um, dispatch that she was going to come and investigate whether there was a house fire or not. Neighbors already trying to get into the home, but the smoke and flames too thick. They saw the flames coming out the back window, and I mean, not just a little fire, it was running right out. I kept hearing this hollering and screaming. The little boy said, Mama, Mama. And I said, uh, where y'all at? She said, right here. I said, where? Uh, right here on the side by the driveway. This neighbor says the screams sadly faded. Fire crews then pulled them both from the burning home. They, it was burnt bad. It was burnt bad. Both of them, her clothes was burnt to her, her skin. But the little boy, his whole side face was all messed. They had long, pretty hair, and I'm like, oh, my God. Detroit police say Pistolsi immediately began performing CPR to try and save them, and then even rode in the back of the EMS to the hospital with that little boy. To think that someone could possibly have set this fire is extremely troubling for me. We're going to find you. We're definitely going to find you. Detroit police, along with arson investigators, on scene for hours as neighbors learned that woman, later dying in the hospital, had been shot before the blaze had been set. Pray for them. I didn't know them, but, you know, it's a tragedy that affects all of us in the neighborhoods. Now everyone here sending love to that little boy with burns over half of his body as he fights for his life in Children's Hospital. Just hang in there, and I'm praying for you, bro brother. Just hang in there, because uh, we all, all the neighbors, we all try. On Detroit's west side, Erica Erickson, Fox 2 News.